Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today we are going to be talking about fat shaming versus skinny shaming. Now, what inspired me to make this video was a TikTok that I saw pretty recently, and uh, I was just gonna play it, but I'm just gonna describe it because I cannot find it for the life of me. But basically, it was a skinny girl looking at herself in the mirror, and then the caption was, uh, when you're a skinny girl in the era of BBLs and being thick or something like that. And then the audio that was paired with the video was like some dramatic music and someone in the background going, Am I Am even, I even relevant, relevant anymore? anymore? Basically saying that skinny girls aren't getting as much attention anymore because people are now obsessed with the idea of, you know, being slim thick or being curvier and, you know, just emphasizing the beauty of other body types that aren't just skinny. This TikTok then triggered a debate in the comments, most of the comments kind of criticizing the original poster, some of them coming to her defense. Basically, people were going back and forth about whether skinny shaming is an issue, and if it is an issue, how severe of an issue is it really, uh, especially compared to fat shaming. Now, to get right to the point, and you can feel free to disagree with me if you want, uh, but as a woman who's been skinny her entire life, uh, skinny shaming does not have the same you know, negative implications that fat shaming does societally. Uh, therefore, skinny shaming is not as bad. And you know, I think most of society would agree with my statement, um, but there are people who think that skinny shaming, you know, carries the same weight as fat shaming. No pun intended. But don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not trying to say that skinny shaming just doesn't exist because it does. Um, I've been skinny shamed before. I have been told that I look anorexic. I've been asked, are you bulimic? Uh, you know, you need to eat something, eat a burger. <laughs> um, or you know, that whole thing of like, you know, real women have curves. Like, I'm sorry that my body is shaped like a telephone pole. And, and now what, I'm a phony woman? Oh, hi there, buddy. Uh, my name is Chelsea. I'm a part of the Township's uh, recreational promotion team. Uh, we're trying to start a program for young boys like yourself to get involved with sports. Um, have you ever considered... Oh, I'm, I'm not a boy. Oh, sorry. Little man. <laughs> you guys are growing up so fast these days. No, no, I'm, I'm a 23-year-old woman. Oh! I, I'm sorry, I just, I, I just didn't realize... Uh, uh, that's my mistake. You just, you don't look like a real woman, so. What do you mean? I just meant, you know, you have no tits or ass, like a little boy. Well, thanks for clarifying. Yeah, uh, this is really awkward. I'm sorry, uh, but I'm kind of legally obligated to do this. I'm gonna have to report you. What? R report me for what? I'm just sitting. Did you just take a picture of me? What? No, hey, come back! Excuse me, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I'm not doing anything! We got a report of an NTOA here, and I have a feeling you're the subject. NTOA? Yeah, a report of no tits or ass. Uh, can you stand up and turn around for me, what? please? No! Listen, we've been keeping our eye on you for a while, all right? Ever since that incident at the mall where you went to go get measured at Victoria's Secret, but you couldn't even get measured because you were so flat. Okay, you didn't have to bring that up. Well, you wrote that into the script because you wanted to include some of your real life experience, so. Oh, now you're telling everybody that it's a real thing that happened to me and that it's not just a part of the skit. Oh, thanks a lot. Jesus Christ. Listen, all right? We thought that once you got your period, you would develop into a real woman, but... Looks like only your uterus got the memo and the rest of your body kind of just opted out of womanhood. What are you talking about? Real women have curves, okay? Body like a back road. You have a body like a narrow one-way street that could hardly even fit a car. You know, those tiny roads that have dumpsters on the sides of it and people go out there to take their smoke break. I think you're talking about an alley. No, I'm not talking about alley. Okay, we already measured Allie's breasts and butt, and she made the cutoff, okay? Okay. I'm talking about you, and how, unfortunately, we're gonna have to take away your womanhood, because you have absolutely no curves. I mean, I feel like I'm looking at a bamboo stick. Okay, whatever. Wait, you're not upset that you're not a real woman anymore? <sighs> not really, gender isn't even real, and you're just annoying me, and I want you to go away. So yes, skinny shaming is a real thing. However, on average, fat shaming has much more significant negative implications that are detrimental to a person's, uh, not only their body image, but just their overall self-image. People have a lot more biases when it comes to overweight people, right? They tend to think that they're uh, not as intelligent, that they're lazy, not as attractive, etc. People can be targeted and made fun of solely because of their weight, you know? And it can go in either direction, whether it be because they're too skinny or because they're too fat. 
Uh, but more times than not, it's gonna be because they're too fat, not because they're too skinny. For example, a little bit ago, there was that man who was dancing at some event uh, and people just decided to start recording him and laughing at him simply because he was fat and just existing. I can guarantee that if he were a skinny mini, uh, that whole thing wouldn't have happened. Or, you know, people will just take pictures of, you know, fat people in public uh, because it's somehow like a joke. You know, I've seen pictures online of women who are being made fun of because of their outfit or the way their outfit fits. You know, a fat person can wear a certain outfit and it's ugly and not fashionable. But if Bella Hadid with her itty bitty waist were to put that outfit on, all of a sudden it becomes a look and she's slaying. Or another double standard is when a skinny person eats a whole pizza by themselves, or, you know, gets a Big Mac meal from McDonald's. It's like, oh my God, she's so quirky and relatable. It's so cute of her to do that. Uh, but if a fat person were to do that, y'all would be like, um, I'm sending you to your local cardiologist right now. You probably have diabetes. Did you know that? Like if I were to get on here and be like, I love junk food. Like I could eat French fries all day. You know, I'm, the comments would probably be like, yes, relatable queen, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if a fat person were to do that, people would be like, ew. <laughs> like it's so, the double standard is so clear. Ugh, in college, I was a size zero and now I'm a size two. God, I've really let myself go. Right, I mean, I was a size 12 in college and now I'm a 16 and I still like the way I look. You're a 16? Really? I feel like we look like the same size. Yeah, well, for the sake of the skit, let's just pretend that I weigh more than you. I mean, you couldn't have put pillows in your shirt to make it obvious that you weigh more or something? Well, I could have, uh, but I didn't know if that was gonna be offensive or not, <laughs> so. Hi there, what can I get started for you guys? Hi, um, let's see, I'm not really feeling that hungry. Um, I guess I'll take the pepper jack jalapeno poppers, a double order of the calamari, the blooming onion, make it seven. Uh, the French onion soup, uh, a cup or a bowl? A bucket, please or a trough, if you have one. Uh, then I'll also have the steak salad, but hold the salad. So you want a steak? No, I want the steak salad, uh, just without the salad part. Okay. Then I'll also have the loaded bacon cheddar fries and, um, you know what? Just give me the whole menu. Yeah, and there's a restaurant next door too, right? Uh, yes. I'll just take everything from their kitchen too. And uh, then I think that's it for appetizers for me. Damn, you can really put it away. <laughs> that's amazing, I love a girl who can eat. Uh, anyways, what can I get for you? Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I think for me, I'll just have the side cucumber salad. <coughs> <coughs> okay, we'll do. What was that? What was what? Did you just throw up? Yeah, yeah, sorry, I was just I was disgusted <laughs> there for a second. Why? You weren't disgusted with her? Yeah, I don't know, she was fine. She was iconic, she's slaying, but I don't know, for some reason, just when you ordered your food, it just made me regurgitate a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know what, I think you know exactly yeah, why you- Yeah, you're right, it's probably because you're fat. Anyways, what do y'all want to drink? Lastly, I wanna talk about how fat people are represented in the media, and it just goes to show that fat shaming is really integrated into our society in a way that skinny shaming is not. When we see skinny people in TV and film, uh, they're often portrayed as desirable, uh, or maybe it's more appropriate to say that, um, you know, not, not every skinny character is desirable, but every desirable character is oftentimes skinny and most times their weight doesn't define their entire character as a whole. Most leading men and women in Hollywood are skinny. Uh, when we look at bigger actors and actresses, oftentimes they're typecast and you know they are the designated punchline. You know, they're the comedic relief. At least a lot of their careers start off that way before they're taken seriously, if they are ever taken seriously. Examples being Jonah Hill, Rebel Wilson, Melissa McCarthy, Jacob Batalone, I mean, these are some of the most popular, um, you know, plus size actors and actresses in Hollywood and they have all been typecast. Skinny people don't need to worry about a lack of roles for them because Hollywood has always pretty much showcase them at the forefront of stories, right? So it is very unlikely that there would be a lack of roles for skinny people um, unless that particular character was the designated fat character or like super, super jacked or something. And then on the other hand, there are plenty of roles that people would be too fat for. Believe it or not, 
most people's bodies are not stick thin, okay? Most people have fat somewhere on their bodies and they uh, can be perfectly healthy at the same time. So why are overweight people practically always seen as jokes in all the media that we see and they lack the complexities that a normal person would have? Like, I wanna see more fat characters who aren't just comedic relief. So basically, this is a film about a girl who is struggling with loss, tragedy, grief. Um, throughout the story, we really see how much the human mind and heart can endure before it really has no choice but to crumble. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is, this is gonna be heavy. It's gonna be difficult. Um, I'm really gonna need you guys to tap into a dark space for this, okay? Sure. Of course, we'll try our best to do the story justice. All right, well, uh, we'll start with a cold read. Uh, this is the scene where our lead uh, finds out that her boyfriend was the drunk driver who killed her mother, and she's breaking down to her best friend. Um, I'll start, and you guys just do the dialogue, okay? All right. Okay. We pan out to Alyssa, a beautiful girl in her 20s with a numb expression on her face. She walks to the front door of Frances, her best friend, a fatty McFatso sidekick with a personality of not quite gold, maybe copper or something. Alyssa knocks on the door and Frances answers. What's wrong? They found the drunk driver who killed my mom. Frances takes a big bite of a donut out of anticipation. Who is it? It's Zach. Francis spits out the donut. This whole time he knew, and he didn't say anything. He, he held me at the funeral while I cried, and he, he, this whole time... What an epic bra moment. Sorry, is, is this supposed to be in the script, or...? Yes, it is. Uh, sorry, would, would you be able to deliver that line in a little bit more of a uh, comedic way? Maybe something like a, Oh my god, what an epic bruh, moment. Uh, I think the way that you deliver the line can maybe use a little bit of work. So um, we'll just start at the end of your line and just uh, take it from there. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, he helped me while... Well, I cried at the funeral and this whole time- Oh my god! What an epic bruh moment! I'm sorry, this just- it, this feels really out of place. Why is that? Yeah, um, I mean, if, if she's playing my best friend, um, I think- I think she would be a little bit more serious at this moment. Yeah, I, I feel like my character might be a little bit more emotionally supportive after just finding out that her best friend's boyfriend murdered her mom, um, and that she wouldn't immediately go, epic bruh moment. I mean, you know, your, your character isn't really supposed to be serious. You know, she, she's there to be comedic relief. I mean, it's, it's a drama. She can't even be serious for a second. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, come on, her, her BMI is over 30. So just because of my character's weight, I can't be taken seriously and I'm only here for jokes and I don't have an ounce of complexity outside of my body image? Yes! Exactly! Great, we're on the same page. Um, alright, let's take it from the top again. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember, no matter what someone looks like, um, it's probably better just to keep your comments to yourself. You know, why be rude when you could just be quiet? Anyways, do not forget to like and subscribe and until next time. You, sh you don't look like a real woman, so. <laughs> yeah, a report of no tits or ass. Uh, can you pl Hi, um, I think I will take the pepper jock. <laughs> you know what? Just give me the whole menu. And, you know, there's a... Into it. <laughs> gonna be difficult. Um, I'm going... <sighs> um, I mean, if she's playing my best friend, um, I do... <laughs> Uh, yes, it is. Sorry, would you be able to say that line in a little bit more of a comedic tone? Um, you know, maybe something like, Oh my god, what an epic bruh moment! <laughs> oh my god.